What's going on guys? Welcome back to a new video. Today we have a new product review. We have three blaster boxes of 2021 Panini Illusions Basketball. So excited to open these here today. These are pretty affordable boxes here. So um, if you guys like these retail reviews, want to see more stuff like this and trying every product and every format we can, help us out, drop a like, subscribe to the channel, especially if you're new, share, comment, ring the notification bell, and a step further, you can get some bonus content by becoming a member and help support the channel here. So links down below in the description. Product information is up first. After that is opening and after that is the rating and the reviews. So uh, these will retail for 20 to 35 and they'll resell for 30 to 35. So uh, the Resale isn't really too crazy for these. Uh, now you can find these at Walmart, Target, your local sports card, hobby shops, things like that online, uh, retailers and sellers. So yeah, the boxes come with uh, six total packs and six cards per pack, 20 box cases. So here's what's exclusive to these. Get that to focus in. So you get the Blaster exclusive Emerald and Ruby parallels, which um, yeah, if it's anything like last year's, it'll be very tough to tell them apart. Hopefully they change the colors. The colors last year were ridiculous. And if these are like that one, it's crazy. The colors, we'll, we'll see, we'll see. So uh, some other things you can find, retail exclusive Starlight Parallels. So then uh, where is it somewhere here? There we go. Autographs in Rookie Signs and Trophy Collection Signatures. So look for those. And then there's on this side, the kind of little tiny list of things you can find there. Uh, that would include the autographs to 25 emeralds all the retail inserts which are uh also with emerald parallels and there you go so starlight emerald ruby same with the rookies rubies to 125 and then yeah so simple set really simple set Let's see what we can pull hopefully some cool cards and in the background we have sadiq and rj then we have packing cards ig check it out drop a follow if you have not posting tons of stuff on there we actually uh, posted on Instagram the news about uh, Fanatics acquiring tops. We also posted um, a short yesterday. So if you go to videos on the channel, you can see that too. Just uh, not a ton of information about that. It's really actually pretty basic news, but the significance of it is pretty pretty high. So let's um, see what's in these. But yeah, long story short, Instagram, a lot of things going down. Drop the quality if not. So let's see what we got. Empty box. Illusions, blasters. Illusions is a, it's a solid set. It doesn't kind of wow uh, me too much personally, but I don't, I don't hate it at all. I think it's, um, I think it's solid. Now I like football illusions a lot better. So I'm always comparing it with football because that's the first one that I opened and it's originally a football set. It's much better in football. I think if they made this like football one, this should be a pretty great set. I think it's just, um, just a solid set. So here's the base, the dual image base cards are there. And yeah, so what do you guys think of the design? What do you guys think of Illusions in general, look very, very carefully. That, I believe, is an emerald parallel, I think. I think that's an emerald. Can you guys tell the difference? So let's uh, let's move through this pack and we'll compare. Crazy stuff. Uh, Isaiah Roby, LeBron James, and Cole Anthony, pretty nice. So, yeah, if I tilt it a little bit, that one looks... I don't know if I'm psyching myself out or not. But last year, I opened Blasters of these and I pulled the emeralds and I thought I actually had no emeralds or whatever parallel it was called because they all look the same. I think this is the parallel. So we complained about obsidian being kind of tough to differentiate. How about, how about this one? There you, now you can tell the difference there. See that green tint. So, so subtle, almost impossible to tell. What do you guys think about that? Yeah, there you go. You can tell the difference now. Green. I don't know. I don't know what's going on there. Whoever picked these colors, come on. What are you doing? They did not. They'd not want us to tell the difference. So if you're on eBay or something like that, buying a card, look very carefully. Might be a one of one. All right, so continue on pack number two. Hopefully we can see those rubies too. I wouldn't be surprised if uh, like that's a ruby there. Gotta check like this to make sure. But once again, guys, if you like these reviews and these videos, want to see more like it, help us out by, oh, trying to support these videos with the like, sub, memberships, things like that. And we can have many more. Helps out a ton. Here's a good one, Lamelo Ball. Season highlights. Our retail luck's been great lately. Hope it keeps up. Good sign. And we went from pulling no Lamello and Ant to lots of Lamello and Ant. Love to see it. Welcome, Lamello. Got RJ Barrett. And then we got Obi Toppin. And, and Lamello Ball. Nice. So I'm going to hold the... I think... Yeah, you got to go like this. Go like this. That'll be a... All right. That's your kind of telltale. You got to hold it three feet in front of you. At an angle, the light has to hit off at a perfect angle, then you can see the color. Love it. 
All right, next one up. I'd love to pull an auto from here. Or a ruby. One of those would be a hope run. All right. Oh. Oh. Actually, that's actually a pretty... Yeah, that's actually pretty... Uh, nice. I don't know how rare those are. I think last year they were decently rare. That's a Starlight Moses Brown. If you guys in our Discord server would like this one. That's actually pretty cool. I don't know how rare that is this year. But if it was anything like last year, that's a pretty rare card. All right. Moses Brown uh, Starlight. It's a rookie. Interesting. Very interesting. Hmm. All right. I don't... Yeah, I need to check on the rarity. I believe that's a pretty rare pull. So... I'll absolutely take that. Not, I don't know if it's like Genesis and Mosaic, but something along those lines last year. So I don't know if it's the same as last year. That's huge. Or really nice. RJ Hampton. Nice. All right. Illusions. My new friend. Illusions and Mosaic are invited to my birthday party. All right. Next one up. Let's see if we can get another one. If we get another one, one of these boxes, maybe they're not as rare as we thought. Interesting. All right. Oh, okay. So you get these inserts here. Clear shots. Allen Iverson. There we go. Now you can see a little bit of color there. Cool. I like these a lot. Nice looking cards. We got Saban Lee and Moses Brown. Just the base one this time. All right. Last two packs. Uh, honestly, not too bad. Not too bad at all. So these are definitely a cheap option if you're looking for a cheap rip or you go into your local Walmart or something like that. You might see these. These are definitely an option. All right, so that now that one I can tell a little bit better. There you go. So this is, remember, kind of angle like this, three feet away, tilt your head back and squint and then you can just see the color. Bogey there, so that is one of our emeralds. And Jay Sean Tate. Cool, all right. One pack left. Now we're doing a versus as always. We got a little, uh, nice little fun, friendly competition. Blaster one faces off against two and three in an epic battle. So you vote for the winner at the end, and this one's fighting hard. Tyrese Maxey, instant impact. Cool uh, insert there. Great player to get. And put the base there. Mar Stevens, James, w James Wiseman. All right. First blaster, two thumbs up. I'm very happy with that. And now let's see what two and three have because if they're anything like that, I'm pretty excited to get into those ones. So we'll put these there. Number two. So yeah, what do you guys think about these? If you guys saw it at like Walmart, or something like that, would you buy it? So it's maybe 20 to 35, depending on where you get it from. It's um, it's solid. Cheap rips. They're slowly becoming a little bit more common, but obviously, past couple of years cheap rips hasn't been a thing so it's good to see some stuff going down in price becoming a little more affordable so everyone can have a chance to get their hands on something get a nice rip so here's number two let's see what we get and the pack kind of just fell apart here we go all right let's see something really cool i would consider that very cool What's his name, guys? What's his name? There we go. We know where that's going. Got some base. Skylar Mays. Patrick Williams. Nice. Now, the Football Illusions is 55 point. These are all 35 point. So they'll fit in standard sleeves and regular top loaders. But I really would like to see the 55 point. Harrison Barnes. See, now these ones I can tell a little... Yeah, I can tell a little better. The first one I was having a lot of trouble. Now this one I'm pretty... Uh, pretty sure it's also i know which spot it'll be in it'll be in that third spot so keep going killian hayes next pack up so also great choice on the cover athletes mr ja 12 there and james wiseman surprise i designed it and i did the colors all right oh ho, ho. ask and you shall receive we got an auto. Michael Mulder there, uh, rookie auto. Pretty cool. I don't see any numbering. Yeah, but cool. Autograph. All right, I'll take that. Thank you. Thank you. Cool. Nice. Getting any autos from retail or number cards, things like that, always a dub because not the easiest thing to do. 
They gave them sparingly, so always happy to see them. All right, Jalen Brown and Isaac Okoro, rookie reflections. I like that. Anthony Edwards, I love that. And Najee Marshall, all right. This battle is uh, it's an interesting one. We got a Starlight, we got an Auto, we got a Ruby. All we need is a Ruby. We've seen everything else. It's a pretty simple set. We've hit two of them already. Duncan Robinson. Put that there, just to keep track of our parallels. I th you know what? <laughs> I thought this was like a parallel. It's just really dinged. Yeah, I'll get that. I thought it was like a, one of those patterns. Right, that little line there. It's, it's just really beat up. Xavier Tillman. All right. Blast 2 for Blaster 2. If we can get that ruby, we got the, the 3 to see. I think that's an insert. Nice one, though. Clear shots. Got a Levine there. And then... Look at these, uh, look at these corners. Composite. Dude, these are crushed. Jalen Smith. What happened here? Hmm. Hmm. Just a little bit dinged. We'll see how they grade. All right. Final pack. More bad corners. No, the corners. Save the corners. All right. Let's see who our emerald is. Killian Hayes, rookie. That's nice. And it's Precious Chua who got destroyed in transit. I'm sorry, man. So right now we got a battle. We got a battle. Which one's the winner so far? Final one up. Let's uh see how three bears against one and two. Can we get a ruby? Can we get another auto? It's another starlight. If we don't pull I know the autos are pretty rare, but we don't pull a starlight. I'm pretty sure those are decently rare. So getting a Moses Brown, very cool. Alright. Let's uh get to this last one. Good luck. Number three. And there we go. Alright. Pack number one. Got some base, of course. Hachimura. This is the emerald. Or the slightly less base, I call it. And Killian Hayes. Alright. Come on. Three. I'm rooting for you. So what's your... Uh, for all you guys watching, what's your favorite retail format? Do you like blasters? Do you like cellos or fat packs? Do you like the megas? Retail boxes? Pretty cool. Got a Rashid Wallace career lineage. Put that there. I'm not really sure which one's my favorite. Anthony Edwards again. Pretty interesting. Najee Marshall again. Next pack. Got two ants. Got two Lamelles, I think. And one Wiseman. So we'll probably get a Wiseman here. Harden, because Wyvern will not get beat by an Elmello. Harden, Emerald, just barely. And Tillman, with a good corner. Good for him. Blaster 3. Come on, Blaster 3. A lot of pressure for Blaster 3. After one pulled an auto, one pulled a Starlight. Got something here. Okay. Got the Emerald Larry Bird. Clear shots. And Capazzo and Jalen Smith. Last two. Money on the line. Pressure at its highest. What is three going to do? Not much. Not much indeed. Daddy is young. Mm -mm -mm. Not looking good. Achua. So we're getting like the same cards or rookies from the last one. One pack. Let's see how this goes. Come on, three. What you got for us? Okay. Oh, it's an insert. Okay, interesting. We got a, a rookie reflections cat and Jada McDaniels. All right. Kevin Love, Okongwu, and a Koro. Well, put this here. This here. Time to vote for a winner. Comment down below in the comment section who was the big winner for you, and who was the big loser. And in general, who was uh, who's the one you liked most? And if we need an alliance, who should it be? Who's teaming up?
if they did team up, would they would they still beat him though? That's that's the big question. Because sometimes, like say these two team up, they still don't beat maybe this one or you know vice versa. So uh, here's blaster number one. I can get these up. We had Wiseman, Maxi, and we got some uh, parallels here. The Emeralds, uh, Hampton. We got Moses Brown, Starlight, Lamelo, Lamelo, and then we got some more of those Cole Anthony there. Got some more rookies. And yeah, there we go. So one, uh, one did pretty well. So we'll put these here. A good stack right there for the highlights. Here's number two. Got a Killian Hayes and Ant, Coro, Otto, Mulder, and that. Oh, actually, one more and one more. Now that's about it. Some damage, unfortunately, in that one. And uh, that's it. So these guys will nominate these ones, and then. Will Blaster 3. Should we have an alliance? Who is the best overall? Which one do you like the most? Let me know down below. Ant. Did have Ant. And uh, that, that's all it had. So, poor, poor number 3. You know what? We can send these 3. They'll, they'll send these 3. So, let me know what you guys think. What do you like about this product? What do you not like about it? Do you think it's cool? Do you think it's not cool? Good, bad, in the middle. What are your thoughts? Now, my thoughts at the price, it's not too expensive. The ceiling's really not too high. We did get this. We did get an autograph and uh, a lot of nice rookies, but it's not the highest end set overall. On a scale from one to 10, I'm gonna give this one a, I'll give it a 5.25 out of 10. So uh, not too expensive. Cards aren't the highest end once again. And ceiling wise, there's really not much to find. You can get the rubies 125. Get the emeralds. I mean, barely. Like one of these is an emerald, and I don't know which one. Maybe, yeah, who knows? Or maybe none of them are. I don't know. You really can't tell. There you can, but like this, they look exactly the same. So, uh, overall, I would have liked to see something maybe bigger added to Starlights or in there too, but those are uh, retail exclusive, not blaster exclusive. So, 5.25 is what I think about them. What are your thoughts? Let me know down below. If you get some for yourself, wish you the best of luck. Let me know what you pull. But uh, overall, not too bad. We actually pulled some decent stuff. And uh, no complaints on my end. I'm pretty happy with the pulls. Getting one of these. First time pulling one of these. Uh, don't believe I pulled any last year. But Starlight, Moses Brown, Auto Molder. And uh, let's put a rare little mellow sighting in here. So, yeah, what do you guys think? Comment down below. We'll have more retail reviews, of course, coming soon. And hobby and all sorts of different things. So, show support in these vids. We'll have many more coming. So, that's it for this one, guys. Thanks for watching. Like, comment, subscribe. And I'll see you guys later.